Just head south from the R in Heartlands on the map and you should be able to find him with ease. Not the 13 like on the map that you're given. With one special creature only available once you've beaten the game and caught the other 13 fish that Mr. Gill tasks you with. You'll also need special lures to catch these beasts, so head to Largris just south of Blue Water Marsh and buy the special lake lure, special river lure and special swamp lure. And fish in the morning for more bites and use eagle eye to locate legendary fish if you're struggling to find them. Once you've caught one of the fish, you'll also want to get to the post office in ample time or face delivering a rotten creature to Mr. Gill. Legendary Sockeye Salmon Stand on the west bank of Lake Isabella, use the special lake lure and get yourself close enough to the water where there's no frozen ice to obstruct your line. Legendary Smallmouth Bass Head to the west bank of Awangula, adjacent to the Awangula Dam Road, cast in your special lake lure and pull it to shore. Legendary Perch You'll need your special lake lure again. Most of the bubbles are in the centre of the pool, meaning you're going to want to stand on one of the rocks in the water near the west bank of the Elysian Pool. Legendary Bullhead Catfish You'll need your special river lure for this one, and it's easily the most annoying fish to catch. It resides across a whole body of water on the landlocked island that houses the penitentiary. Legendary Lake Sturgeon the lake sturgeon is in the middle of a body of water and the only means to fish for it is by standing on the edge of a railroad bridge. Equip your special river lure and when fishing, be careful not to let the fish pull the line under the bridge or it will snap. Legendary long nose gar. You'll need the special swamp lure. But the main thing you have to watch out for here are the American alligators lurking around your ankles. Legendary muskie. You'll find this near the lighthouse south of the Van Horn trading post. River lure for this one, and it's quite difficult to catch as it's in an annoying location on the outskirts of the lighthouse. We recommend scrambling across the rocks and getting to a solid position. To make matters worse, you have to stow this fish on your horse, which means you have to carry it back to land. The best way to get it back there is to whistle for your horse, get it as close as possible to you, or face losing the fish as you're ambling through the water on the way back. Legendary Steelhead Trout and the riverbanks aren't that lucrative, so you're going to have to make your way to one of the islands in the stream. Legendary Chain Pickerel You'll find this in the Dakota River, a special river lure. It's easy to catch as it's so small. Legendary Bluegill Special lake lure, again you'll have to scramble down a hillside to get to where it dwells, but just make sure you cast where the bubbles are and you should have no trouble catching this little nip. Legendary Rock Bass You'll find this fish in the Aurora Basin. There's even a handy pier to stand at at the basin that's not dilapidated like most of the others you'll come across. Your special lake lure again for this one and it's fairly tricky to catch. Use eagle eye to find it in the water and cast your line off the pier on the north side of the creek for the best chance of a bite. Way down by Rio del Lobo, this largemouth bass special lake lure and get ready for a scrap caught and mailed all 13 legendary fish, you'll receive an invitation from Jeremy Gill who invites you out for one final fishing trip before the quest concludes. So, a catfish in the desert, is that normal? Eventually Gill will hook something on the line and you'll have to take a picture of him landing it, but that doesn't go too well. Your reward is a special spinner lure, which increases the chance of catching any type of fish, but mostly large and legendary ones. And you also get Gil's hat. 